Okay, so for this video, we're going to go in and find the matrix exponential using what's called the Putzer algorithm. And the idea behind the Putzer algorithm is to use a series expansion for the exponential of the matrix. And when the matrix is 2 by 2, there's two terms. And when the matrix is 3 by 3, there's three terms. So this kind of adjusts with the size of the matrix as we go. So in any of these methods, the first step is to always find the eigenvalues, which we found in the previous problem as negative 1 with multiplicity 2. So the next step is now to find these ingredients. And the first thing you'll notice is that the matrix P0 is always equal to the uh, matrix, which is the identity matrix. So P0 is always equal to I, and for a 2 by 2, that's 1, 0, 0, 1. The matrix P1, well, that's found by going through and taking the matrix A, If I can get the right matrix there. And going through and subtracting the eigenvalue times the identity matrix. And we saw in the previous video, this is the same thing as a negative one, one, negative one, one matrix. And in the event that we need to find a P2, that's just A minus lambda 1i times A minus lambda 2i. The next thing for us to do is to find the values of R. And again, those are functions of T. So R1 always satisfies R1 prime is equal to negative 1 R1 because negative 1 is our eigenvalue. And the idea, once again, is to now find a function that does this. Remember, we also need an initial condition, otherwise we have an infinite number of functions. So the R1 condition is always R1 on 0 equals 1. So this differential equation is so simple, you can just solve it by staring at it, because it says what derivative is just a negative 1 copy of itself. Well, of course, that's our exponential function, and we do know that if we plug 0 into an exponential function, we do get an answer of 1. So R1, in this case is going to just be e to the negative t. Now the r2 is more complicated, but the r2 is going to solve a linear equation. r2 prime is equal to negative 1 r2 plus r1. And if we rewrite this as r2 prime plus r2 is equal to r1, we get r2 prime plus r2 equals e to the negative t. And the initial condition, of course, is R2 of 0 equals 0. And they're all 0 from after we find R2. So this equation is linear, and we can go ahead and use integrating factors to solve it. And so if we do integrating factors, our mu of t is just going to be e to the integral of 1 dt. So it's e to the t. So we have an e to the t, R2 prime plus e to the t r2 is equal to e to the t times the r1 we found, which was e to the negative t. So that's 1. So we've got r2 times e to the t prime is equal to 1. If we integrate that, we get r2 times e to the t equals t plus c. So r2 is equal to t e to the negative t plus c e to the negative t. And if r2 of 0 is equal to 0, that forces the c to be equal to 0 as well. So the r2 function here is just equal to t times e to the negative t. And we should be surprised by that because this is a repeated eigenvalue. And we saw earlier this semester that when you have linear dependence, you have factors of t breaking that dependence. So now that we've got our different functions here, we've got our P0 equals the identity matrix. We've got P1 being that matrix there. We've got R1 and we've got R2. We can now go ahead and build our matrix exponential. So E to the AT is going to be the R1, which is E to the negative T times P0, which is 1, 0, 0, 1 plus the R2, which is T, E to the negative T, times the P1 matrix of negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 1. And if we now combine this, 
we will notice that we're going to have a 1 minus t e to the negative t. And then we will have a t e to the negative t. And then we will have a negative t e to the negative t. And then we will have a 1 plus t e to the negative t. And that is the same exact matrix exponential that we got in the other video, just found with a different method. And what's really nice about this Putzer algorithm is that it makes the work in 3 by 3 matrices and 4 by 4 matrices go a lot quicker than using the other method, even though the other method seems like it took less time.